Hi, YouTube. Good morning, YouTube friends and family. It's your boy, GB Reviews. Today, I'm doing a, a, one of my food-related reviews, and today it's going to be about Beyond meat product called Beyond Sausage. I had a very positive experience recently, and this is, you know, not your boy GB trying to be plant-based, but I, you know, hey, I'm open to all options. I was in a restaurant in the airport, and I had a Beyond Burger, and I was really surprised. Uh, the vegan market has stepped the game up in terms of making meat products that aren't meat products, if that makes sense. So basically, it's meat simulations that are really plant-based. And I thought the Beyond Burger was amazing. So, I go to my local giant today, and voila, I find Beyond Sausage. So, what I'm gonna do to, for you today is I'm gonna cook it up, and we're gonna test it, taste it, and then I'll let you know what it's like. So, with that, let's get at it. All right, we're gonna get to cooking. Uh, the first thing I wanna say about the the uh, Beyond Sausage is that it's, for most people, it's gonna probably be a bit expensive. For four Beyond Sausage links, uh, this was $9. So if you're trying to be plant-based or you're a vegan, um, you can't be a broke vegan. I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> because, you know, $9 for four links um, is pretty expensive when I just bought two packs of turkey sausage for five dollars is two for five so i mean that's the part where i think it's going to be hard for folks to can tr truly be plant-based with good quality plant-based stuff um because the price point is just going to be too high so what i'm trying to what i'm going to try to do today is i'm going to cook um i'm going to cook back here i'm using a cast iron skillet i'm going to switch it around so I'm using a cast iron skillet, so I'm gonna look and see if I can cook this Beyond Sausage in the normal fashion. So basically I just, um, I use a little bit of olive oil. So extra virgin olive oil. My, I grease my cast iron skillet. And I'm gonna cut the sausage, um, the Beyond Sausage, plant-based sausage, and I'm gonna see if it'll cook up like normal sausage. My cast iron skillet is heating up. I have it on high right now because I'm just trying to get it heated, but I'm gonna probably put it on a lower setting. And then we're gonna see if this plant-based sausage cooks up like normal. Um, as I told you, I had Beyond Burger. It tasted like a burger to me. So um, let's see, all right. So I have to say, I like the, the packaging. Um, it's, you know, I mean, the, except for the plastic wrapping that they have to use to seal it, um, you know, it's a kind of a cardboard container that's biodegradable. And they may even be using a biodegradable um, plant-based plastic I'm not sure but um, we're gonna we're gonna open this up and then see what it cuts like you know does it does it feel like sausage no you saw me poke into it and that was kind of weird but um, let's see it feels kind of like I don't know I mean just so you can see what it looks like I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it I'm gonna cut it in half lengthwise and then we're gonna fry it up and then see all right so i cut it open the consistency is similar to like i don't know it's like silly putty um i am gonna cook it up and we'll see just so you can see what the inside looks like see it kind of looks like meat but not so we're gonna cook it up and see all right. so right now i haven't added any extra oil i think i might have to though just because of the way it's um smoking um, I just grease the pan, but I think I'm going to have to just add a little bit of extra olive oil just to get that kind of the frying cooking sensation. So we're going to do that now. I'm not going to add much though. Um, what I can tell you is that it actually smells like uh, meat. cooking but it doesn't it doesn't hold it it doesn't hold together like me as you can see from the extra meat on this thing and it sticks like 
nobody's business. I don't know how. Well, maybe I wasn't supposed to break the casing. Maybe that's the magic. Anyway, I'll let this cook for a bit, and then we'll come back to that. I flipped it over. It looks a little bit better. It smell, like I said, it smells like meat-ish. So I mean, cooking it, I can't tell if it's like plant-based. It's actually, I think they use coconut oil or something like that in it to um, to allow it to kind of cook like meat. And um, like I said, it's browning a little bit. I'm not sure how long you have to cook it since it's plant-based, but uh, I'm gonna flip it one more time. And then, uh, then we'll taste it. A few moments later. Okay, I flipped it over again, and now it's uh, just cooking. You know, it uh, doesn't look like sausage. I'm gonna let it cook a little bit longer, and then we'll see if it tastes like sausage. Again, maybe I'm not cooking it long enough, but um, it's just plants. So it should cook faster than meat, but we'll see. I'll let it cook a little bit longer. Um, so far, I think it's been cooking for like three minutes or five minutes. So, all right, let's get back at it. One eternity later. So I added a little bit of oil, but I'm surprised at actually how much I think oil is in this stuff. As you can see the reflection, there's a lot of oil in there. Um, all right, I've cooked it long enough. Let's see, let's do a taste test. We'll see what it comes out like, all right? So I laid it out and I kind of got the oil out, uh, kind of the way you're, you do with regular sausage, you just kind of lay it on there. Um, but let's try it and see what it tastes like. I'm gonna try it first without hot sauce. The consistency is kind of like sausage. I'm gonna try it first without hot sauce and then we'll see. All right, so taste test. That's not bad. The texture is not quite like meat, but the taste is like meat and it actually tastes like pork sausage. I don't even know how that's even possible. Cause turkey sausage does not. I don't know what they put in here, but it reminds me of when I was a kid and I used to eat my grandmother's sausage. Um, I probably hadn't had pork sausage in over 20 years, but from what I remember, this tastes like pork sausage, which is actually, um, this is a good substitute. I'm not mad at this. Just like I wasn't mad at the Beyond Burger. But, like I said, um, at the, uh, nine dollar price point i don't know many i don't know many folks especially young folks that can afford um nine dollars for four i mean basically you're spending um was it a uh, two something per link uh and i mean maybe but if you're saving money i'm not saving money um, health benefits wide, I'm not sure what the health benefits are. I mean, I know people are saying go to a plant-based life, but, um, I'm not sure what the unit of energy it takes to make, um, vegetable products actually taste like meat. So it may be a wash, maybe it'll help your personal health, but it might not help the health of the planet. Um, that being said, uh, I would say go out and try it beyond burgers, beyond sausage. Um, Texture-wise, it tastes, uh, it feels kind of meat-ish, but it tastes like meat, and it tastes actually, I would say the, the taste is better than cafeteria food, like when, you, when you're when you in school, in high school, everybody remembers that cafeteria taste, it's better than that. So, if you can afford it, go out and try it, let me know what you think, Hit me in the comments below. Anyway, it's your boy GB Reviews. And uh, thank you for watching. I'm out.